Now we are ready to create the dimensions, okay? So before creating the dimensions, let's uh, set first our uh, layer current to the appropriate layer. So let's select from the layer panel uh, dimension as our layer. So click on that. And let's invoke AutoCAD to create a new dimension style. Okay, so let's uh, type D on our keyboards for dimension styles. So after typing D, hit enter. And again, never change the defaults. Okay, so these are default dimension styles of AutoCAD. And leave them as is, never modify them so that you have a fallback when you uh, messed up your uh, settings. So let's just create new, okay, by clicking this uh, new icon. So click new and new style name. We intend to plot this with a scale of 1 is to 10, okay. So let's type D dash 10. So I use this as my code for dimensions, okay. Dimension scale 1 is to 10. So start with ISO 25, that's good. And leave first annotative. Let, uh, let's leave first annotative. Maybe we cannot cover this anymore because of the short uh, span of time. So just leave it and then continue. And the new dimension style dialog box appears. We could uh, change the lines. Currently, it's set as by block. Leave it as is. Okay. And symbols or arrows. You may change it. And let's try to select a closed blank. Okay. Including, of course, for the leaders. Let's select closed blank. This one is a uh, closed field. Okay. But let's, let's choose a different one. So, close blank. And then, arrowhead. That's too big for me. Okay. I'll make it 2. 2 mm. Okay. And then, leave the rest as is. Let's go to text. We haven't set a, a text style yet. So, leave this as is first. And this is the most important part of the dimension style. Let's go to the fit tab and leave everything as is except here on the scale for dimension features okay use overall scale of we type here the scale factor again this is intended for 1 is to 10 okay so we use the factor of 10 so we type here 10 and then okay and then let's select uh, our new dimension style and set it as the current okay and then close and let's test our dimension style and the ribbon now comes into play for this particular drawing element it's very long to type the keyboard shortcuts for dimensioning as for example here on the annotation panel we have here the different uh, types of dimension so click on this drop down arrow and here you have your uh, different types of our dimensions and it's set to linear dimension as default so let's just uh, click that and specify our first origin of the first extension line and then specify again the origin of the second extension line and specify now the location of the dimension line. So click. And I'll just zoom in. These two vertical lines are of course your dimension extension lines. The horizontal line with the arrow heads is of course your dimension line. And the 250 is your dimension text. And currently it's a little bit big because it's set to the standard uh, text style and the text height there is 2.5 so let's go back 
to dimension uh, style manager so type d enter and make sure to select uh, d10 and then click on modify and this time let's go to text okay and so again it's set to uh, standard as the text style and the text height is 2.5 so we could either choose annotative and standard but of course we cannot uh, move forward to annotative scaling and dimensioning already so let's just click on these three dots on the right part of text style to open the text style dialog box so click on this and we have the standard again as a default and of course we don't want to modify defaults of AutoCAD so let's create new and let's name this one as 2mm text height dash 10 because it is intended for scale 1 is to 10 so click OK and let's just leave the font name as Ariel and let's change of course the text height okay again uh, sadly we cannot uh, push through with annotative so let's just uh, use this particular uh, dimensioning and scaling style that I use okay so for the text height we want it to be printed at 2 mm height and using scale 1 is 10 so we multiply 2 times 10 so that would give us 20 as our uh, height for our text and then this is of course in uh, model space so set current we click and then set current yes and then close now we could choose 2 mm as our text style okay so we change everything now then just uh, click close or okay and then let's check what happened close and it became a little smaller not as big as before but at least cuter okay by the way I use uh, on my practice I use either 1.5 text height or 2 mm text height for dimensions but uh, 2 mm will do good for me 2.5 is too big okay but uh, that is the standard but for me I love smaller text and you could create your own standard uh, different firms architectural firms has their own standard of drafting so let's go ahead and explore dimensions again and I repeat it's very long to use the uh, keyboard shortcuts for dimensioning so let's say for example let's create another linear dimension so what we type is dim lin and that's too long okay so dim lean enter and let's try to dimension this one so from that uh, origin and this origin towards this location of our dimension line and this time let's uh, dimension also the uh, bar diameter so it's better to click here okay rather than typing dim lean so from this quadrant towards this quadrant and specify now the location of our dimension line and similarly the concrete cover so dim lean again so I'll just I'll click this icon and then from this endpoint towards this endpoint as the origin of my extension lines and then I'll drag the location to specify the dimension line I will use my snap point to align it here okay so I'll click on this endpoint to align the location of this new linear dimension towards this dimension so they are aligned okay now uh, this is set at the other uh, side of the dimension so let's click this dimension and then this grip point appears so let's click this grip point so click and drag it towards the other side and then click okay uh, unfortunately change its uh, position so let's uh, click any of these grip points and then drag first your cursor towards the right and then over your 
Mercer around this uh, endpoint to bring out the uh, temporary alignment pad and then make sure you snap to the intersection okay so click and there we align it and change its direction then press escape and now we need a uh, dimension for this let's try to use linear and then click this one and towards this endpoint it's uh, creating a linear dimension so the appropriate uh, type there is aligned okay so you could type dim align okay but that's too long okay I could just simply click this one and select on aligned so click on align and this time from this origin towards this origin and then locate the location of my dimension line and then click okay however it uh, crosses this uh, dimension so click on this dimension and then readjust its location so just click on that uh, grip point and adjust then escape and there we have our beam detail let's uh, look at our layer first so la enter this time we already have a death points layer which cannot be plotted you could see here that it's grayed out the uh, plotter icon is grayed out for the meantime let's close this and don't forget to save your drawing first so let's click the icon and then let's click on save as or just press uh, Control shift s and then locate the folder you want to save it and for me i'll name it as beam details so save 